Hello guys, how are you doing? Many of you were requesting to make a detailed video about the Prince Edward Island PNP program. So here's the video you requested. This video is all about PEI PNP program. In this video, we'll talk about the overview of this program, the eligibility criteria, the points table of the PEI PNP program and the step by step process as well. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Shitan Shu from Dream Abroad and I regularly upload Canadian immigration and lifestyle videos. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. And guys, now I'm there on Instagram as well. So if you're there on Insta, please feel free to connect with me over Instagram as well. My ID is Dreamers Abroad. Please note it's Dreamers Abroad. It's not Dream Abroad. So let's connect over Instagram as well. All right. Before we discuss about the PNP program, it's important to know a little about the province that we are actually talking about. So let's discuss about PEI. And I will tell you very few points about it. Of course, you have Google to know more about it. So PEI is actually located towards there and it is actually the smallest province of Canada in both land area and population. The primary job sectors in PEI are farming, fisheries, tourism, aerospace, bioscience, IT and renewable energy. It is actually very small and hence the most densely populated province of Canada. The capital is Charlottetown and the primary language is English. Around 95% of PEI population speaks English and of course the second is French. Okay, now when we have talked about the province, let's talk about the PEI PNP program. This video is about that only, right? So let's start with the overview of the PEI PNP program. Just like any other PNP programs, this PEI PNP program is also to attract the talents from around the world to help contribute the economy of the province. We can actually divide this PNP program into three different categories. Number one is PEI PNP Express Entry. Number two is Business Impact Category. Number three is Labor Impact Category. Now in this video, we'll discuss more about the PEI PNP Express Entry category because this category is the most famous and the popular one. The labor impact category has got three different streams, skilled worker stream, critical worker stream and international graduate stream. Now for the first two streams, you either need to have a job offer or you must be working there in PEI. For the third stream, you must have studied in PEI. I know most of my viewers would not have the job offer, nor they would be working in PEI and neither they would have their studies completed from PEI. So we will not talk about this particular category in detail. The other category is about the business impact category, which is actually for those people who are willing to invest their money in this province. But I know certainly that most of my viewers would be interested to know about the PEI PNP express entry category. So we will discuss about this category in detail now. All right, now let's see the eligibility criteria. It's very important to discuss this criteria because only those people who would be eligible would be able to apply for this PEI Express Entry PNP category. So to be eligible for this category, you must meet the requirements for at least one of the federal economic immigration programs. The three programs you know are Federal Skilled Worker, Federal Skilled Trade and Canadian Experience Class. These are the same programs as the, in the Express Entry system. And of course, to be eligible, you should have an express entry profile and it should be there in the express entry pool. Now there are two pathways to permanent residency through the PEI express entry category depending on if you have a job offer in PEI or not. However, the priority would be given to applicants that are living and working in PEI, but it is not necessary. It's not an eligibility criteria that you should have a job offer or you should be working there in PEI. Even if you don't have that job offer, you could get the ITA or the nomination from PEI. So that is something really, really great 
Many other provincial programs offer PNP invitations only to those people who have a job offer. So this is really great about the PEI Express Entry PNP system. Okay, now we can discuss the points table because through the points only it would be decided that who gets the invite and who does not get it. Okay guys, this is the points table that I was talking about. It is actually different from the Federal Express Entry points system. This is the province specific points grid that is mentioned here. I can provide the link to this PDF. It's available online on the official website of Prince Edward Island. You can check it out. But to explain it to you a bit, here they have mentioned that the maximum points that are available for express entry with a job offer and without a job offer. So you get points for your age, your language, your education, work experience, employment, adaptability and the total points comes up to be 100. Here in employment you lose 5 points if you do not have a job offer. Apart from that it is still the same. So you have really good chance of getting good score. For points of for age you actually get around 20 points if your age is between 25 to 29 very similar to that of uh, the federal express entry system then for your English proficiency or French proficiency you get 20 points if you can score CLB 9 or CLB 10 so even if you score CLB 9 CLB 10 is pretty tough even if you score CLB 9 you get 20 points even if you don't have the job offer the good point is that if you score good in uh, both the languages you get 10 bonus points so this 10 bonus points can do a world of wonder for you. So if in case you know French and you know English as well, it will be really, really good for you. Now you get 15 points for master's level or PhD and uh, 12 points accordingly. Not talking about the work experience, you actually get 15 points if you have more than six years of work experience. And similarly, you also get 15 points if you have four to six years of work experience here they have mentioned that the uh, points that you'll get for express entry with with a job offer will be 15 but for express entry without a job offer is 20 now i doubt this point this might be a typo here because here they have mentioned the maximum points is 15 so if they're giving more points for not having a job offer this does not make much sense so it means that it might be a typo here uh, but Talking further about uh, employment, if you have the, if you're working in PEI on a valid work permit, you'll get five points additional here, so that might make it up. And similarly, there's some points grid for adaptability as well. So if you have a family member in PEI, you get additional five points. Similarly, if your spouse can also score CLB six or higher in English or French, you can get five extra points even if you don't have the job offer. So these small factors actually make a big difference. So please make sure that uh, if you can actually, you know, point these scores, then your chances of scoring really good in this point system would be increased. Okay, now when we have discussed about the points table, we can discuss about the step-by-step -step process. But yes, if you want to check it in detail, I'll provide the link to this PDF. You can check it out. All right, let's discuss the step-by-step -step process now. Let me list all of them out first and then we'll discuss it in detail. The step one is accessing your eligibility. Step two is expression of interest. Step three is invitation to apply. Step four is preparing your application. Step five is submitting your application. And the last step is submitting your application for PR. Now about the first step. So of course you should decide that if you're eligible or not if you're eligible in the express entry system it would mean that you would be eligible for this PNP program as well so if you have created a profile it says that your profile is active and you're eligible you are eligible for this program as well okay once you're able to access your eligibility you should be able to create your expression of interest your EOI or expression of interest profile in the official website of uh, PEI then after that if your EOI gets shortlisted for an invitation or an ITA from PEI. In that case, you'll have up to 60 days from the date of invitation to complete the online application form. 
So then the step four, you have to prepare all the documents that would be needed. And the step five, you have to submit all those documents after paying the fee of 300 Canadian dollars. And if you're selected for nomination by PEI, you must submit your application for permanent residency within three months of receiving your nomination certificate. That is the extreme last step. Once that is set and done, all the documentation is complete. You have submitted everything. You just have to wait for your PR. So that's it. That is all the information that I wanted to share with you about the PEI PNP program. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please click the like button. And yes, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Please click the subscribe button and please put your feedback in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching this video.